Welcome back. You are watching DXB today, and I'm very excited about our next segment. We're going to empower all the ladies in the UAE. <laughs> and with us to tell us all about the Dubai Women's Run is Dr. Harmeek Singh, the race chairman of the Dubai Women's Run. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, I feel like you're quite the feminist yourself. Uh, just based on our, our brief discussion, I've been very excited to have you here next to us. Tell us all about the Dubai Women's Run and how someone like me, Amy's a bit more athletic than I am, but how we can get involved. See, Dubai Women's Run uh, is just not a sporting platform. It actually was initiated. This is the 10th year. We're talking about when people were talking or thinking about gender equality in this region, we were much ahead of times. So this is exactly how Dubai stands out, UAE stands out for when it comes down to platforms like this. So we have been like nurturing this and now it has been the 10th edition. So we safely say it's not a one day event. The whole year we have platforms like Women of Substance, we have Power Hour which we are going and educating the university and the school students as well to encourage them to be a part of the fitness regime. We are a part of uh, a lot of initiatives that probably gets women empowerment with knowledge sharing and a lot of platforms that probably are been encouraged now that people have started to gather and then the community has been built. So let's talk specifically about the women's run. So um, I am not a runner, <laughs> but if I did want to participate in the women's run, is there different distances for people to take part in? Yes, we have a three kilometer fun run, which uh, has got a complete family backing where you can bring your children, toddlers as well. You can actually have the push chair. Uh, the five kilometer gets a little bit of a up, upside of this and the 10 kilometer, which is again, people when they want to push their limits, that's where it is. Okay, I think you we could do three run, kids, I was just saying, a three K sounds like a yeah. one to me. Um, you <laughs> when walk. you say run, do you mean speed walking also? Speed walking Because I'm well. a really good speed walker. Yeah. We can I'm do one that. of those moms. We can yeah. do, in fact, I think we could do five kilometers speed walking yeah let's do it it's, it's I feel like you and I should never do anything athletic together I've seen you <laughs> <laughs> you're actually fit <laughs> what were you gonna say no it is about uh, the first step and it is to do with that the introduction towards running and I can easily tell you a lot of people have had their lives been changed because that's the purpose and uh, there was uh, one of uh, our participants who's every year she's there and 10th year she's also gonna be there so she was a bit on the heavy side and she was a bit of uh, a conservative like somebody who was probably an introvert she started to actually take that very seriously the first run and she became fitter second run and she has been a part of it and she's done three Ironman and she has been speaking about it as a keynote speaker how it has changed because it's the kind of confidence that she's got it's a combination of mind body and soul I love well, that. it's an amazing thing like what you're doing because again you are building the community within the 10 years that you know the, the, the event's been running. But um, I'm sure you always ask this when you're talking about you know, the event, because the, is, uh, is the first thing they say, well, well, hold on, you are a chairman of an event that's empowering women. You know, I mean, they ask you like, you know, why is, like, you know, why is a man you know, being involved, like heading, is, is that a, a normal question perhaps you, you're asked? Many times, but then again, uh, do you not think that we are much uh, delayed on that, that men should support women? And it's, yes. it's to do with the fact that probably I am all about breaking the stereotype. There's not a woman always behind a man's success. Right. It's a man who can be behind a woman's success as well. And I encourage everybody, and this is what I've been talking, just a few interviews that have been happening is, yeah. all men, I want all of us to show up and Absolutely. actually take care of our kids when our women are running. And obviously feminism uh, benefits men as well, which yeah. I think is important to remember. And there's also another aspect I think as well, as well as you know, the, the mental and the physical health and the fitness, there's a sustainability element to, um, to what you're doing as well. Yes, this year being the year of sustainability for UAE, so we have pledged ourselves to support uh, the year of sustainability and as well supporting COP28, which is happening. Uh, I am very honored and proud to announce that the Ministry of Climate Change is a part of this and Her Excellency Mariam Al Murray is running herself. That's amazing. Wow. That is so she's leading the pack, she's walking the talk and that's what I, I see. The encouragement part about having uh, gender equality or women empowerment, I think, and I've spoken this earlier as well, women are not inferior, they're superior to us. And do fact that probably what women do, men need to probably take a few steps ahead. It's all about getting that knowledge across and the minds to open up. And it's amazing that you're doing that kind of work and I want to know more about what you're doing. So tell us about Plan B events. Plan B uh, is a group of companies, so we are a part of a lot of government initiatives. We, we look 
and we see that probably how we can contribute towards the society but then again also we've got sectors that we work on uh, just bagged the uh, complete uh, biggest event that's going to happen in the first quarter of 2024 uh, the FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup is uh, we are part of with uh, the local organizing committee UA Football Association and Dubai Sports Council uh, apart from that, we have been a part of a lot of cultural events. I have been a part of uh, Batulak Faza, mm. uh, Faza Championship for 19 years, part of Rugby Sevens, coming up with strategies. So yeah, Plan B group is uh, not limited to one kind of a feature, but then again, we an overall. You're going to keep me busy <laughs> <Yeah>. with your <laughs> events. That's one great. last very quick question. So the women's run, is there a way for men to get involved somehow? Yes, please do come and cheer for the women. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Harmik. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for being on DXB. Thank today. you. Thank you. Now, we went down to meet Arva Ahmed, the founder of Frying Pan Adventures, to get her top recommendations of restaurants that serve fall off the bone meat. Take a look. You're going to want to see this, Said. There are some cultures that really do magic with meat. So we're out on a hunt to find three different restaurants that do just that in Dubai. I'm here to try a specialty dish from Iran, which is called Gardan. It's lamb neck. It's a specialty of the saffron picking city of Iran, which is Mashhad. And this one has been braised for eight slow hours. And the best part about it is it gets served with caramelized onions, caramelized garlic, and this delicious gravy. So here you can see the meat is completely just slipping off the bone. That gardan was so intense, so rich, just so, so good. But now we're back on the road, heading all the way to the other side of town. We're going to Gises, where there's a Hyderabadi restaurant. And we're not going to be ordering their cliched Hyderabadi biryani. We're actually going to do a completely different dish that is just melt in your mouth, magical. Everyone knows about Hyderabadi biryani, but the dish that is lesser known is something called Pathar ka gosh, and it is one of the most tender ways of cooking meat. We're here at Shadab restaurant in Gises to try just that. Pathar ka gosh gets its name from the actual pathar or the stone slab on which the mutton is cooked on. What they take is these really thin strips of mutton that have been all coated with this delicious masala, throw it onto the hot stone and they cook it until it's juicy tender. We are right by the historic Creekside at this little gem of a Yemeni restaurant called Rubo Al Mandi, and we're here to try a dish called Zurbayan. Zurbayan is a Yemeni dish which was originally inspired by Hyderabadi biryani. It has all of the fluffy, long grain basmati rice and meat that's been cooked for about two hours until it has completely fall off the bone tender. And there we have it. We just tasted our way through three different cultures that do wonders with meat. We looked at Iranian, Hyderabad in India, and Yemeni food. This is what makes Dubai as special as it is, all of these different cultures. But hey, for the rest of the week, I'm going to be eating salad. Welcome back to DXB Today, where we have been graced by the presence of Mr. Saeed Saeed. And now it's time to get to know him a little bit better with Amy. It surely is. DXB in 60. Are you ready, Saeed? Right, I'm ready. I've got my etiquette lessons. I am. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's start. If you weren't working in journalism, which of the industry would you be working in? Somewhere in travel. One thing that you cannot live without? Coffee. Your motto in life and work. Keep it moving. Your hidden gem in Dubai. Ethiopian restaurant called Zagol in Karama. That is a hidden gem. Very nice. Your inspiration. My mother. The book that you've been reading at the moment. Uh, that's a. I've been reading. A, I've been reading a lot of magazines. Okay. I would, Go for I would say so. It's a kind of book. Yeah, so I've been reading like, so I mean, Rolling Stones. Okay. Top series that you've watched this summer? I, w I re watched The Wire. Top podcast recommendation? I don't listen to podcasts. If you could hang with somebody for 24 hours, who would it be? 
My mum. Oh, Aww. that's lovely. The most interesting person that you've met in the city. Oh, in the city. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't, I don't, oh, I don't know. Time's up. Uh, have you not met anyone interesting in the city? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer. Well, Too many people. Thank you so much, Saeed. It's hard to just choose one or three. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, I think you just made my top five for awesome guest co-hosts that we've ever had on the show. Thank you, and please have me back. More than any, I mean, you're good at what you do, but more than anything, I really genuinely love your energy. Uh, it's wonderful. And I look forward to cheering you on at the race. This weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, Saeed. Um, now, uh, here's a sneak peek at the pop rock band performing on tonight's show. It just keeps getting better and better, guys. Let's take a look. Hello, we're Hot Rodney. We're very excited to be performing uh, with DXV today. Stay tuned.